important B vitamins for, uh, for cleaning out sugar, cleaning the bread from sugar, eliminating sugar from the bread, is uh, uh, niacin and thiamine, vitamins B1 and B3, but you want all the B vitamins. BTT is one of the neatest things about the BTTs. You get all the B vitamins in liquid format. Magnesium is important for blood sugar issues and cataracts. I'd be using the osteomag. Uh, let's see what else. The amino acids, taurine and arginine can be very helpful. The B vitamin like complex choline can be very helpful. And uh, let's see what else. Other good uh, blood sugar, alpha lipoic acid can be very helpful. These are all very important. As it turns out, anything that helps you with blood sugar is also going to help you with eyes. And by the way, not just cataracts, but also glaucoma. One of the leading causes of blindness and cataracts and glaucoma is blood sugar issues. So working on the blood sugar problems is very important. You said you had your cataracts for 10 years. That means your blood sugar has not been controlled for at least 10 years, probably more. This is very important. Does that make sense so far, Paul? Controlling blood sugar. All right. Okay, next thing is uh, the, the talk cleaning out the bread in terms of cleaning out the bread is working on the digestive system. If you have any food problems, any foods that you know that cause gas or bloating or diarrhea or constipation, eliminate those foods. Start to patch up the gut using probiotics, using glutamine, uh, glutamine powder, uh, using aloe vera and noni juice. You can get the uh, aloe vera and noni products from Longevity. Uh, Bioluminitely essence is probably your most important, in my opinion, it's the best probiotic supplement going, using digestive enzymes after meal. You notice we're not talking about specifically anything with the eye yet. We're talking blood sugar and we're talking digestive system. And then the third thing you want to do is make sure you're moving your body around. We don't talk about this anywhere nearly enough, but the lymphatic system is your drainage system, your sewage system in the body, and it's tied into movement. The more you move, not only are you going to generate electricity, as we talked about earlier, movement generates electricity, but the more you're going to detoxify, you're going to keep that, you're going to uh, uh, compress and squeeze the lymph and the toxins out of the body. So in addition to controlling digestive to- the digestive system, toxicity entering in through the digestive system, moving your body around is also very, very important for helping drain the lymphatic system, drain the lymph, drain the sewage system, if you will. And then don't forget about your deep breathing techniques as as well. Now, there's some nutrients that are specifically important for the eye, especially vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, and vitamin A. Those are probably the four most important. Selenium, you could throw that one in there as well. You'll get those in the Vision FX. So you've got lots and lots of things to do. I Probably you haven't even been doing one or two of those things, but that's good news, Paul, because that means you have lots of places that you can work to begin this turnaround process. And cataracts, uh, the eyes of the lens, uh, that get cataracted, that get cloggy, that get uh, uh, cloudy and distorted, those le- eye cells, those lens cells, replace themselves. This is so important because it means you don't have to be condemned to cataracts. The lenses, the uh, cells of the eye, the lens cells, replace themselves. So if they're cataracted, which means cloudy and distorted, they're going to be turned over. And your new cells, as long as you're taking care of your blood sugar and taking care of your digestive system and taking care of your lymphatic system and making sure you're deep breathing and getting your vitamin A and your vitamin C and your vitamin E and your selenium for the eyes, as long as you do all those steps that I just talked about, the new lens cells will come back clear. The new eye lens cells will come back healthy because the eye lens cells are constantly being turned over. Does that make sense, Paul? You don't, you're not condemned. Nobody with cataracts is condemned. All right? Does that make sense, my friend? Doing everything wrong. I, I, my whole life, I'm lucky I'm still alive. I guess. Well, you know that's a testimony to the. <laughs> you know what, Paul? That's a testimony to the life force. You're right. Sometimes I wonder how I'm still alive, or how my friends or my patients are still alive. But that is a testimony to the life force. You know, our life expectancy has increased dramatically in the last ten years. But what they call years with disability, years with degeneration, have increased. So even though we're living longer, we're more degenerated. And this is the biggest problem with, the, with our health epidemic. Everybody says, well, we're living much longer, life expectancy increased. Yeah, but we're sicker and we're more degenerated and our bodies are falling apart at a much more accelerated pace even though we're living. So, yeah, we're living. To, we may be able to live to it till 75 or 80 or even 90 years old, but it's the quality of life that's suffering. And that is the, the, where nutritional supplementation and dietary strategies, blood sugar strategies, oxygenation and detoxification come in. I hope I helped you, Paul, and I hope I didn't confuse things uh, more than they were, confuse you even more than you were before, if you were confused indeed. All right, uh, Maureen in Virginia, welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on? Hey, um, I've got a 
got a chronic cough. I've had it for years. Horribly sticky mucus, like it's okay. almost like a glue. Okay, here you go. Well, we're going to talk about cells and stuff, all right? Because our theme today, our theme all the time, but especially today, is cells and stuff. Mucus means a defensive response. Your body's defending itself against something. Make sense so far? Are you there, Maureen? I'm no? here. Okay, so your body is defending itself. Anytime you have mucus secretion, that's a defensive response. Mucus is slimy. It's cushiony. It kind of protects the tissue underneath. Now, if it's happening in your lungs, it could be coming in from two places. It could be coming in through the food. It all, almost always is coming in through food, but there is an outside chance that if it's coming in through the lungs, you may have a respiratory problem too. But they're probably related. So here's what you want to do. You want to figure out what is getting into your body that's causing your intestinal cells to, uh, to initiate a defensive response. When the intestinal cells initiate a defensive response, they start to secrete chemicals. They're called immune chemicals, technically immune globulins or IGs. These immune chemicals get into the blood and they initiate an immune response in the various tissues of the body, specifically, especially the highest concentrations in the lungs and the respiratory system and the digestive system. Now, I would guess, Maureen, you probably know that you have some kind of digestive problem associated with your respiratory problem, correct? Um, actually, no. We, okay. we eat very healthy. I don't want to hear that, Maureen. Healthy is silly. That's, a, that's just a, a word that your doctor told you because your doctor says eat healthy. What does healthy mean? You could be eating spinach and reacting. That's healthy. You could be eating tomatoes and reacting. That's healthy. You could be eating eggplant and reacting. That's healthy. You could be eating p uh, potatoes and reacting. That's healthy. See what I'm saying, Maureen? What we think is healthy doesn't necessarily mean we're not reacting. Hang tight. I'll finish up and we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, veterinarian and naturopathic physician. The Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy with an important message. Take charge of your health. Do not continue to blindly follow the system that has failed us all. I appreciate GCN listeners because you're open-minded and intelligent. If our system is so great, why is it that the United States, the USA, ranks nearly 60th worldwide in longevity and number one in obesity? All the while, we spend more money than all the other countries combined annually on unnecessary health care procedures and toxic drugs. It doesn't take much to get on track, not with the government or pharmaceutical companies, but rather you in control of your own health with a basic understanding of nutrition and supplementation. FDI Longevity has the finest quality health, sports, and energy supplements available. GCN listeners are invited to join our team of people who want to stay healthy well into old age. We are currently looking for specialists to represent FDI Longevity and save America. To buy products at wholesale prices or join our business team, go to GCNteam.com. That's GCNteam.com. Support GCN. Get healthy. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. -E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems 
system today, complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231, and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now I can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800 346 6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800 346 6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800 34 No Tax or go to taxhelponline.com. That's taxhelponline.com. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side, talking to Maureen in Virginia. Maureen, so you get that healthy doesn't necessarily mean non-reactive, right? There's a difference between yeah. being healthy. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. And that's really important for everybody out there because we always think we're eating healthy, but it doesn't mean we're not reacting. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Where there's mucus, there's reaction. Make sense? Can I ask you something? Well, no, but let me just see if that makes I'm sense. sorry, go ahead. Does that make sense? Where there's mucus, there's yes. reaction. Yes, Okay, good. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I wanted to know if it's possible that a tapeworm could cause the mucus. Well, yeah, but you can't. If, uh, there are parasites and tapeworms, clearly, but I can't help you with tapeworms. I can't pull a tapeworm out or a parasite out on the radio, but I can give you a lot of good information on okay. the radio. So if it is a parasite, well, yeah, that's mucus, and that's, uh, that's a defensive reaction, and mucus is a response to uh, an assault. It's a defensive reaction. That's so important, you guys. Vasodilation, which means redness, opening of blood vessels, and mucus are the hallmark signs of a defensive response. When you see redness, when you have mucus, you got a defensive response. That's the way the body protects itself. It opens up the blood vessels so that white blood cells and immune cells can get to the area, and so drainage can occur, and it uh, secretes mucus. Mucus cells start secreting to protect the tissue underneath. Mucus is like a cushion. It slimes things away, so that's a defensive response. Whenever you have a defensive response, whether it's redness or mucus, we have one question to ask and one question only. If your doctor or healthcare professional is not asking that question, find another healthcare professional who can, who will ask that question. What are we defending ourselves from? Now, you have it in the lungs, Maureen, so it's conceivable, possible, that you could be breathing something in. All right, that's usually, that's rare. Now, that could happen. I'm not saying it's not happening, so you're going to have to look out for mold and, and for fungus and for uh, stuff that's getting in the air, maybe if you have some, some kind of uh, insulation problem in your home. But chances are you've got this problem whether you're in the home or whether you're not in the home, wherever you go. So more than likely you're dealing with some kind of digestive distress. And the only way to know what's causing it on a digestive system level is to link it to bowel movement problems, gas, bloating, constipation. And I know... You may think that you don't have any of these problems, and it may very well be that you don't, but it's probable that you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't have that mucus. So it, even if you think you don't have any problems, really pay attention. Pay close, close attention. And I can't, I've been doing this 30 years now, Maureen, and I can't even count the amount of times I've talked to people and they say, well, I don't have any problems, and then a week later, two weeks later, they say, oh, yeah, you know, I just realized that I do have constipation and I didn't know. So I don't mean to, to discount your experience or your opinions, your ideas about how your body works, but really, if you have that kind of, you're having that kind of defensive response, you've got to figure out what's getting into the system, and it's more than likely going to be something you're eating. Yes, it could be something you're breathing, but that's unlikely. Now, the second thing you could do is start to patch up the digestive system. If you're not on a good probiotic supplement, get on one. Get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. I would do it as soon as possible. That alone can make a huge difference. 
You can also use um, other digestive support, uh, nutritional supplements for digestive support, apple cider vinegar after meals, lecithin, glutamine, pancreatin, the ultimate enzymes for longevity, aloe, noni, all the things we always talk about on this program. So long story short, focus on the digestive system. Maybe uh, the outside po- chance or outside possibility you're breathing something in. But those are the two places that you want to look and then use the, di- the nutritional support for the digestive system. And I'd love to talk to you. I can't really give you uh, the full work up here on the radio, but if you shoot me